Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to fully customize your Vivo X200 FE. Let's begin. So, as you can see, we do have some custom applications here, but generally speaking, this is a base look of a default Vivo X200. So, let's change it. We can start with going into settings and choosing the most important thing a wise man can do. Dark mode or light mode. If you want dark mode, you simply want to enable this. If you don't, you want to disable this. If you want to have dark mode only occasionally, maybe in the dark, you can click on this, enable this, and then enable auto on off, so we can customize that it will turn on at custom time or only from sunset to sunrise. I will do for that, because I do think it's a pretty cool feature. Now, to the real... To the real customization process. Let's go into settings, let's scroll down, and let's begin by going into home screen, lock screen and wallpaper. We could potentially go into wallpapers and basically choose something here. For example, we do have a plenty of live things to choose from, and even though they are a little bit of battery hungry, then who cares, right? We have a fancy animated wallpaper. So let's go with maybe this one. Let's go with download, and now it will download itself. As you can see, it is pretty large file, so we want to wait for a moment until it loads. Then you want to simply hit apply. When we can go with only lock screen, home screen or everything. I will go with everything, because why not? And as you can see, we now have new wallpaper. And if we lock our screen and unlock it, we have this fancy new animation. Pretty cool. But what if we want to ch change everything? Well, then this is where themes come from. We can go back and switch from wallpapers to not only icons, but the themes themselves. Here you can choose every single thing on your phone, including the icons, the fonts, the colors, and also the wallpapers, etc. etc. We have some few that are already pre built in, but these are pretty boring, so let's go and hit download more. Though note that I'm pretty sure you would need to have an account, Vivo account for this. And now we can scroll and see something interesting. As you can see we do have plenty of things to choose from. Some anime stuff, some graphic stuff. I will go with these whales, as these whales look pretty cool. As you can see this should also change our font and basically icons. Yeah, no, everything. So let's hit download. It's already downloaded. Pretty cool. So let's hit apply. And now our theme is applied successfully. So as you can see, this is the new look on our device. And then this looks pretty cool, like we have to admit. And of course, you can choose potentially everything that you want in the themes section. But of course, that is not enough. We can go back into settings. And now, instead of going to home screen, lock screen, wallpaper, let's go into dynamic effects. Because this phone has a plenty of dynamic effects that we can fully customize. And let's go for them one by one. So, starting with enhanced dynamic effects. As you can see, these are some fancy dynamic effects, like, for example, animation and display effects, on-screen materials, blur, app entry, next real-time blur, all of that. We can enable everything. We also have weather backgrounds, though this will only work with semi-realistic backgrounds, which are probably like photos of some landscapes. But yeah, we can go back and go back once again. Now we have ambient light effect. As you can see, always on display and on screen display are currently turned off, so let's enable those. And many things have appeared. We can disable custom schedule, so it's on all the time. And notifications enabled, incoming calls enabled. We also can fully customize light effect for incoming calls, 
So whenever someone is calling us, we'll have this nice effect that we can fully customize. We can change its color, transparency, width even, so it will be very wide. So we can have a very wide rainbow if we want to, or even this. So I will go with something like this and green, because I really like the green color. And let's hit apply. Now we can go back and let's go with home screen transition animation. As you can see by default, this is what we see. We can also go with moderate, efficient or comfortable, which is, as I see, the slowest, of the, the slowest possible animation. We can go back and go with home screen entering animation. As you can see, we have none, so it will simply appear. Fly out by layer, simply fly out, fly in, or fly in by layer. I think fly in by layer is most fanciest, so let's go with that. And yeah, as, I can, as you can guess, I'm just enabling everything to see what will happen. Now we have fingerprint icon animation. Unfortunately, I do not have fingerprint really set up, but we could do that. And as you can see, these are all different animations you can set as a fingerprint recognition. And to be honest, they are pretty wild. I will go with this cube since I like cubes. I, I have many hours in Minecraft, I guess. We also have fingerprint recognition animation, which will play this nice effect whenever um, our phone will recognize our fingerprint. Also, there are plenty of different effects. We have something like fireworks, this thing, little sound wave. Then I will go with this black hole thing, which is pretty interesting. And also the face recognition animation. By default, it's this boring lock, so let's change it to something like this, or like this, or like this, or even spinning coin stuff, or something like this. Though, as you can guess, I will probably go for a cube. So let's hit apply, but for that we need to confirm our pattern, and we need to add a face. So I'm not going to go for the process, Though technically it is a process of customization, but if you want to add a new face and you're not just don't know how to do it, well, you can simply watch tutorial on our channel on how to add your face. We also have few more animations like charging animation, which is also these fancy animations, and you might recognize them because they are pretty similar to fingerprint animation unlock. So we can go with this sound wave interesting thing. Let's apply. And USB insertion. Insertion animation, sorry. We have only three to choose from. But they are pretty cool. I think I will go with these flames. You know, it kind of feels the vibe of having the energy of the electricity inside your phone. And lastly, the screen of animation. As you can see, by default, we have none but we can do a nice fade out, fade out from the side, or fade out from the top. I will go with this fancy fade out. So let's hit apply. And as you can see, we have our new phone. Also, if you're wondering how to change the way you have this animation of switching for different sites, uh, well, we can search for it. Let's go to settings. I'm pretty sure it can be found in the home screen looks screen wallpaper. Though I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Let's go with home settings. We have sliding effects, here they are. We have turnover, which is the current one. We also have merry go around, which gives this nice illusion of 3D. And we have a simple fade option. This is probably the funniest one, so I will go with that. And yeah, I think that's all for this video in terms of fully customizing your device. If you have some more information or other tips and tricks on how to nicely customize your Vivo, you can share them down in the comments below. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.